Hey guys, Rama Fool here, back again with another review, and today we will be looking at the new Thomas & Friends Wooden Railway 2022 Hero. Now, since I became a Trackmaster collector by 2009, I originally had no intention of buying any engines from the CGI era in this range. But now that the show is over, and this is probably their last line of classic merch, I thought, well, might as well make the best of it. So, I decided to start off with Hero, since he was one of the first new characters to be introduced in full CGI. I picked him up at Barnes & Noble back in 2022, right after Thanksgiving, so I've actually had him for over a year now. Also, I really wanted to see what these new bigger tender engines felt like in person, so that's another reason why I bought him. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a closer look at Hero out of the box, and of course we will start off with the engine. First of all, he looks so much better now than he did in wood. Before Wooden Railway was revamped, every tender engine was shortened to match the length of smaller engines like Thomas. They were really cheap and less realistic, so I'm really glad they went back to the old design. These longer versions are obviously much more accurate to how they appear in the series. Now, Hero does not look too different from his original Wooden Railway model, although he does have the new wheel configuration, which I think is a really big step up for the Wooden range. Not only is it more consistent to his TV appearance and basis, but the wheels are also scaled more accurately. Unlike previous lines where they were all the same size, he now has four small ones on his front bogey. Plus, they also gave him six big driving wheels, just like he had in the show. So Hero now has a total of ten wheels, and they have been updated to include the printed spokes on the sides. Generally, I don't care for the new ones, but I can make an exception for Hero because the spokes are actually accurate on this version. Apart from that, he also has some extra detailing below his running board, as you can see here. I won't go too much into it, but I just thought I'd point that out. And if you look through his cab windows, you'll notice that he now has a red firebox glow. I actually think this is a neat addition to the models, and it may have been done to give them a slightly more realistic feel. Although, one minor downside with this hero is that his cab is really short. I know it's been like that in the original line as well, but honestly, it's a small gripe, so I could care less. Looking at the front, Hero has the same expression as he did on all his previous releases. However, the face has been updated with the eyes and mouth being printed on, and this was sort of done to allow for different expressions in general. Thankfully though, they still kept his neutral happy one, which I think looks better than most other expressions they've been giving other engines. So, I don't mind too much that it's printed on, as long as it's still somewhat consistent to the original, which it is. Another thing to point out is that Hero's headlamp is no longer molded to his smoke box, but rather to the top of his face. This is why it's all grey and not gold like it was before. I think they probably could have easily painted it gold, although it's likely they left it plain either for budget cuts or possible concerns of the paint interfering with the face. But they did add printed detailing for the lens, and that looks pretty cool on him. Hero also has printed buffer detailing down here, as well as his rail things on top. I'm not really sure what they're called, although they were absent from his wood model, so it's nice to see them again on this version. Here's a quick look at the left side, which is basically the same as before, and there's nothing to see on the back, so we'll just move on to the top. Really nice detailing with the gold stripes around his boiler, except he lacks his whistle back here. Not sure why, but again, not a big deal. They've also brought back the molded dome, which is a huge improvement. Of course, it is plastic, but I still think it looks more authentic than the one that was just outlined on his wood model. And finally, here's the bottom. The bogies have also been updated for the new wheel arrangement, although they too are made of plastic. I think it would have been more reasonable to use wood for these like they did with older models, because the whole point of these toys are to be more eco-friendly, and plastic is the exact opposite. So it really doesn't make sense to use that for these parts. Though Hero's name is printed vertically on his back bogey, and then for whatever reason we have the Thomas Steam Cloud down below. Now we'll take a quick look at the tender, and it is properly molded again, which I'm really glad to see. It's also longer now than it was before, and has six small wheels instead of four big ones. I think that's a neat touch. Of course, it does have his number 51 on each side, and the front and back are just plain. On the top, they've added molded coal again, and this looks way better than the printed version on the wood tender. And the chassis is also plastic instead of wood, and says Hero's Tender on here. Nice that they didn't say car on this one like they did with Emily's Tender. Here's a comparison with my old Wooden Railway Thomas, and Hero is still bigger in size like he should be. However, he's also a little taller now, so he won't be able to pass under bridges this low without hitting them. But it's not too problematic, you can always use extra supports or risers when needed. He still runs perfectly fine on old Wooden Railway track, despite having more wheels. I will say though, it is a bit trickier to get him to turn on longer switches. As you can see, his driving wheels kind of struggle to stay in line with his front ones. 
but he does work on them, it just takes some more effort for him to maneuver. Now, given that we haven't seen any new slope track, I'm not entirely sure if these engines are still made to run on them. But it would be pretty weird if they weren't, because they've always been able to do so from the start. I mean, Hero still seems to tackle them, even though not all of his wheels seem to stay on the entire way up. Although it would be nice if Mattel somehow addressed whether or not they actually are still designed to work on them. Anyway, I think Hero is probably the best model out of all the engines released in this line so far. Even with some differences in design, they've still managed to stay true to the original wooden railway version. However, for a tender engine this long, I wish they would have at least made Spencer, as he is the only major character in Hero of the Rails that I do not own in wooden form. Of course, we all know how little Mattel cares about side characters these days, yet they still seem to find Hero marketable enough to continue making him. But this is probably the best that we're going to get out of this line, given how very little it's been progressing. For Hero, though, I give him a solid 10 out of 10 for a high accuracy to his original model. And if you like him as a character, or you're just really into these new wooden railway engines in general, then I would definitely recommend picking this up. Alright guys, that is my review on the new wooden railway hero, hope you enjoyed it. If so, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone, Ramafool signing out.